one. Joined now by Coach Tim Bird, one of the most outstanding coaches I would think in the country at this point in the eyes of many, not just the state of Louisiana. And you get the opportunity, as you've done many times as the head coach of Riverside and in the past locally, to play in a big national tournament. But this time, you get to do it at home. That has to be a good feeling. It, it is, and it's uh, it's important that uh, we can play in front of not only our home crowd, but the city of New Orleans and the, the metropolitan New Orleans area. I think it's, it's going to be the first time in the history of uh, prep sports and basketball in New Orleans that uh, uh, a national format of uh, competition can come to this city so it's going to give our fans uh, a first-hand look at uh, what the top teams in America are all about and it's just good to have the chance to compete in our backyard against those teams. And the state, and particularly the metro area, has had outstanding talent come through the ranks over the years getting to the highest level. Why do you think it took so long for something like this to come together locally? You know, it, it's, it's, a, it's a massive effort. It uh, takes a lot of money and it takes connections to get teams that we have gotten to come here. Uh, the good thing is, is we've got a great venue in New Orleans, but um, you know, I, I think part, part of Louisiana being such a big football state, uh, maybe the emphasis hasn't been as great on basketball, but uh, I, I know uh, when Ed and I got together, Ed Daniels and I got together, it was time to really start showcasing our high schools uh, in basketball, and so we're excited about it, and we think that uh, we think our team is going to really represent well. When we talk about the talent on your team in particular, Ed Daniels mentioning Ricardo Gathers in the press conference, uh, best player you've ever coached, and you've coached a lot of quality kids, Tweedy Carter and others? Uh, Talent-wise, he's the best. Uh, Production-wise, I think his best ball is way in front of him. Uh, you know, he's six, seven and a half. He's uh, 250 pounds. He's a beast of a physical specimen. Um, has the ability to, to be a pro one day. So, yeah, if he can put the production, he can match the production with his physical tools, he definitely will be uh, our best player ever. And, and both for Ricardo and his teammates playing a tournament like this. Certainly there's plenty of good challenges locally that you get to put on your schedule and get into the playoffs, but bringing these type of teams from around the country, really let your team know where it's at, but just as importantly for Ricardo, let him know where he stands and where he needs to improve. Fortunately, we're going to get to play in some national tournaments. In fact, we get to play in uh, the number one tournament in the country, City of the Palms, but to play in multiple uh, national tournaments, not only does it bring exposure to our teams, it's going to bring exposure to the rest of the New Orleans and Louisiana teams whereby they can be showcased and they can get the recognition that's due them. I think in the past um, we've had Louisiana teams that would go play in national tournaments and people were just amazed at how good they were and we just didn't get the recognition and the press that uh, uh, our teams deserved. So. Uh, to do it locally and to expose the rest of these teams that don't have the opportunity to play a national schedule, to give them an opportunity to compete on, on this level, I think it's going uh, to increase the awareness of how good basketball is here in Louisiana. Thank you, Coach Bird. Appreciate your time. All right.